Alright, so this is a battery charger, MPPT, from the solar. Uh, it charges the battery with a um, split, it changes the incoming amps and volts to a more optimal setting for the battery to charge better, quicker. Uh, it does have a data output, which um, I have hooked up to this device, which logs every 10 minutes. I can hook it up to USB and download a CSV file. Uh, it, you can put a battery in here, so if power is lost, it'll retain the logs in memory. I also have this charge controller, and uh, I gotta set the date, that is incorrect. Um, but right now, the, uh, the battery I drained today with a little experiment that may have gone a little bit too far. Um, so the main reason I got that controller was for this output which is very handy but then I wanted more and so I got that I also got this that exposes the uh, the serial communication that over Wi-Fi but I haven't had much luck using this just yet so uh, I did a test on the battery it if I have no solar, it's um, 30 minutes with a computer and two monitors and a um, uh, stereo speakers, small set of computer speakers. Uh, today it lasted much longer because I had both the battery and the panels hooked up during the middle of the day. Uh, this I upgraded to a pure sine wave inverter don't have it on right now but uh, this got rid of the buzzing sound that all my LED lights were making with the with the other inverter all right and that comes with the remote switch to turn it on and off so this is some data that I was able to make up today and from yesterday you can see it was charging yesterday with the there's the watts up at the top then the voltage, amps, and battery. So the watts, you can see, well, all of them, all of them dwindle off. They go down when the sun goes down. And you can see the battery maintains this, uh, was it 14 volts? 13.8, well, it's kind of around there. There we go, 13.2. So you can see it goes down throughout the night and then it jumps up uh, when the sun comes back up. Uh, so there's a peak in the watts and I think that's because um, the battery was starting to charge up again. And you can see down here this is when this at the bottom is the current state. Right here it says it's just that it's not charging and then it's charging and then it's floating. So you can see where this little peak is. I think that's in relation to when it just starts to charge again. And then up here you can see how the um, the battery voltage drops when it goes to a floating charge. So it's not getting as many uh, volts being sent into it. And see the amps. The amps looks to be the same. It, it, it maintains the amps, just the volts are not maintained. Okay, so I was in the middle of the day and I was realizing, wait a minute, I have a full battery because it's not charging. Why don't I actually go ahead and use that battery? instead of just letting energy just sit there be, not being used and they can see everything just starts to go crazy at this time um, 
I think this is mainly the activity of my computer going to sleep and waking up again and, and being used throughout the day. Um, and you can see how the voltage of the battery just goes down, down, down. <laughs> and um, this red line is the load. So um, I'm not sure too much about why, how it detected that there was a load, because usually it's telling me there's no load at all. Uh, you can see, see the yellow up here and the blue down there. The blue is the solar panel voltage, right? No, the amps. The blue is the amps from the solar panels. And the yellow is the amps going into the battery. So the NPPT charge controller is converting all of those amps uh, from the, it's, it's converting the extra voltage into amps. And you can see the battery continues to get the same amount of volts throughout the whole time when it's charging. It's, so it's, it's trying to maintain 12 volts and it takes all those extra volts above that yellow and converts them into amps over here. You can see when I start to go crazy, uh, it went from floating in, down into a charging state. So that's just uh, all the coolness of what's going on there.